Hey, Sky, back in another video. This one about uh, the digital nomad lifestyle and how it's mostly fake. Uh, you know, there is a lot of great videos on online. Uh, some of them are obviously have uh, a little more uh, quality content to them. Uh, I, there's always something you can pull out of every video. And, you know, there are some even good uh, YouTube bloggers about the nomad lifestyle. I think this is a a industry driven on a lot of uh, you know hocus pocus people you know putting out information on become a freelancer oh go work at Upwork and you know make eight thousand dollars a month uh, you know become a freelancer become a coder I mean there becomes layers and layers of problems that aren't addressed in most of these videos. While the freelance lifestyle, I believe, yes, is it very much exists, but it, it's very much in the fringes of, you know, the existence. Uh, um, you know, for one thing, uh, I highly recommend you travel. I, you know, you should definitely try to grab one of these jobs that give you an extra level of freedom to be able to roam around. I don't think long term... For example, like van life, uh, you go homeless, go live in a van. I think it would be very disruptive to a, a life, you know, a freelancer's lifestyle. I mean, if you're trying to, you know, write code, be an artist, stuff like that, you can easily find yourself with um, all, all types of problems, um, you know, flying all over Asia, jet lag. I mean, I traveled... And, you know, I spent a good amount of nights sleeping on airport floors. I, I mean, it was very difficult to focus. And, you know, really getting a lay of the train and, and understanding, uh, you know, maybe getting a feel for if I like it or not. And, you know, my immediate reaction uh, to things. I, I mean, it really is multi-layered. I, I mean, there's no doubt that you should go and visit Chiang Mai, there is no doubt you should go and, you know, visit Vietnam and Saigon, and there is no doubt you should, you know, travel around Mexico, but I think that the digital nomad lifestyle as a whole is, is an opportunity, uh, you know, as a marketing, you know, phrase that, you know, an opportunity for these people to make money and less about the nomadic, you know, lifestyle and embracing the idea of being, you know, living, you know, a hack lifestyle. I don't believe much exists in, 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 you know, regards to, oh, I'm going to make myself homeless or, you know, go and substitute, go live in Bali or whatever and substitute my life because the, it all, it all amounts to new challenges and, you know, you might disrupt the ecosystem of what you have going, and it could be very difficult to recover from that. Anyway, I do hope this video helped you. Uh, I wouldn't call myself a nomad. I definitely exhibit nomad, uh, you know, tendencies. Uh, however, uh, I like to talk about the subject because I, I feel like a lot of people are portraying ideas that are, uh, you know, not fully correct. And uh, if anything in this video helped you, please give her a like and a sub and uh, hope to see you soon.